Hello and welcome to my channel, where we delve into the cutting-edge world of military technology. Today, we're exploring a topic that's reshaping the landscape of warfare, hypersonic weapons. Hypersonic weapons are one of the most cutting-edge and controversial topics in military technology today. They are missiles or vehicles that can fly at least five times the speed of sound, or Mach 5, and have the ability to maneuver and evade detection. They are seen as game-changers in the future of warfare, as they could potentially strike any target in the world in a matter of minutes, with little or no warning. But how do hypersonic weapons work, and what are the challenges and implications of developing and deploying them? In this video, I will try to answer these questions and more, based on some of the latest research and developments in this field. There are two main types of hypersonic weapons, hypersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles. Hypersonic cruise missiles are powered by jet engines or rockets throughout their flight and can be launched from aircraft, ships, or land platforms. Hypersonic glide vehicles are launched by ballistic missiles to the edge of space and then glide along the upper atmosphere at high speeds, using their aerodynamic shape and control surfaces to steer and maneuver. Both types of hypersonic weapons have some advantages over conventional cruise and ballistic missiles. First, they are extremely fast, which means they can reach their targets in a very short time, reducing the reaction time and the chances of interception by the enemy. Second, they are highly maneuverable, which means they can change their course and direction to avoid obstacles, evade defenses, or surprise the adversary. Third, they are stealthy, which means they are hard to detect and track by existing radars and sensors, due to their low altitude, high speed, and irregular flight path. However, hypersonic weapons also face some significant technical and operational challenges. First, they have to withstand extreme temperatures, pressures, and vibrations, which can damage their structure, materials, and electronics. Second, they have to maintain stable and precise control, which can be difficult due to the complex aerodynamics and the unpredictable effects of the atmosphere. Third, they have to overcome the communication and navigation problems, which can be caused by the plasma that forms around the vehicle, blocking or distorting the signals. The development and deployment of hypersonic weapons also have some serious political and strategic implications. On the one hand, hypersonic weapons could enhance the deterrence and security of the countries that possess them, by providing them with a fast and reliable strike capability against high-value and time-sensitive targets, such as nuclear weapons, command and control centers, or aircraft carriers. On the other hand, hypersonic weapons could also increase the instability and escalation risks of the international system by creating uncertainty, mistrust, and fear among the potential adversaries, who may feel compelled to respond with preemptive or retaliatory actions, or to develop their own hypersonic weapons or defenses. Currently, several countries, such as the United States, Russia, China, India, and Iran, are pursuing hypersonic weapons programs, with varying degrees of success and progress. Some of these countries have already conducted tests or demonstrations of their hypersonic weapons, while others are still in the research and development stage. The race to achieve hypersonic supremacy is intensifying, as each country tries to gain an edge over its rivals, or to catch up with the leaders. The future of warfare is dependent on hypersonic weapons, as they could change the balance of power and the nature of conflict in the 21st century. However, the future of hypersonic weapons is also uncertain, as they face many technical, operational, and political challenges and uncertainties. The question is, how will the world cope with this new and disruptive technology, and what are the possible ways to regulate, control, or limit its proliferation and use? Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.